Progressing in skiing doesn't always have to mean going bigger or spinning more rotations. You can add style, flow, and control to your riding by simply slashing around on any type of terrain. A slash is any time your skis turn to push and kick up snow. Sometimes there isn't much snow to kick up, but it's still a slash if the motion is there. Before getting into slashing, make sure you can hockey stop in a low position and can shifty comfortably. Practice leaning into your edges by angling them while standing still. Learning to edge properly on your skis will help avoid catching your edges when slashing. The next thing you want to dial in is the counter-rotated twisting motion of a slash. Get some momentum skiing downhill. Turn your skis into a side slip using counter-rotation then come to a full stop. Next, start in a side slip. Then untwist your already counter-rotated body to return your skis pointing downhill. By combining both these motions together, you end up with the basic motions for a slash. The last step is to add a bit of speed to your counter-rotated side slip exercise. At first, it's important to be light on your edges. But as you get more comfortable, you can begin to start extending your legs and edging harder into your slashes, spraying more snow. Once your legs are extended, regain control by pulling them back under your body. In most cases, having your weight a bit over your heels will help avoid catching your edges. Another way to slash is by laying into a wide carve first. As your skis come across the slope, initiate the slash by releasing the edge at the same time as your counter rotation and body extension. That motion will kick your heels out, creating a slash. To be able to slash over a roller, it's important to approach with fully extended legs so you can absorb up and over. At the very top, be light on your edges and pick up your feet, absorbing the ground as it comes up. Being back seat when you're absorbing, or scrubbing, allows for more range of motion on bigger rollers. Just as you get off the back side of the roll, extend your legs again while untwisting the counter rotation to ski out clean. In powder, lean back to help you float. If you don't, your tips may get stuck and sucked under the snow. When you slash in powder, your skis act like a plow, tossing snow up into the air. That's how you get those classic face shots. A solid carve does throw up a decent amount of snow, but if you want a good face shot, add a slash to the end of your carve. Like on firm terrain, release your edge at the end of the turn, counter-rotating your upper and lower body and kicking your heels out. To get the most of your slashes, air into the snow at a high speed. As you approach, pop into a shifty and hold it landing in a hockey stop position. With all the snow everywhere, it's hard to see. Pull in your knees and straighten your skis to keep your momentum. It doesn't need to be a powder day to mess around with slashes. It's always fun to toss around snow in any condition and anywhere on the mountain. I'm Dean Berkridge from Ski Addiction, helping you ski better.